what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more star girl this is season two episode four let's get into the episode you know i do have a question real quickly though uh with how far forward we are on like patreon to where we are on youtube right like star War, we haven't even started star girl in the slightest on youtube but, like we're so behind um i'd like to know what you guys think like what give me a date that you reckon that this this episode will be on YouTube? Just give me a date. Oh, I'm curious. When do you think this this will hit YouTube? Because it's currently the 24th of September, 2022. Hi, Dad. How you doing, Artie? I can't stay in that foster home anymore. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that is kind of gross. Basic cable. Fair. No football Sunday pass. Animals. Tryouts are Wednesday. Coach Morrison's coming in from Lincoln. Sweetie, you are gonna crush it. You're gonna be great. I don't know. You're the best in the state. No. Oh. I miss you. Oh. They may be villains, but they care about their kids. Too. Mom says she loves you. Maybe not in a like entirely healthy way, but they still love the kid. Alright, visit's over. Said I had 15 minutes. Time flies in prison, huh? <laughs> oh, don't worry. There's always next week, the week after that, the week after that. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. I didn't want to hurt Ted. I'm still upset by that. You hear me? I do. But this isn't really about your stepmother, is it, Cynthia? Cindy? Sweetheart, is that you? Mom? You're not gonna hurt mother? me again, are you? Maybe. I'm so sorry I let your father find you. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby, go away. Please, don't hurt me. Now! You are in pain me. over your birth, mother. I simply wanted to show you that you must put the past ever do that again. No throw this diamond into a volcano. I am only here to help. I only desire what you desire. <laughs> Let's get back to work. Hey, are you gonna get out or what? Can I at least have some money so I can buy a decent lunch? You got a decent lunch. You didn't even pack me a protein bar. Listen, you need to turn it down a notch, Missy, okay? Or else I'm not gonna be accepting any more of those collect calls from the penitentiary. You got it? My tryouts are today. What am I supposed to do for fuel? I don't know. That's your business. I'll get to stuff and I got a nail appointment to get to. Because, you know, you need those nails. is inhuman what is that the only piece of fresh fruit in this place considered a peace offering for the misunderstanding with the hockey stick what are you staring at Montez nothing I just can't believe they don't have wheatgrass either <laughs> thanks yeah no problem um, I, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for the situation that you're in. I can't imagine how tough that must be. What situation? You know, the situation that you, or, um, your parents, um, them being in prison. My parents are innocent. They shouldn't even be there. <laughs> Everyone's mocking us now, but we Crocs don't forgive, and we don't forget. Anger issues. Tell that to the human strength. Well, Mr. Tyler, it seems as if you've done it again. Another perfect score. <laughs> God forbid he gets it right. I told you I studied. Uh, Mr. Tyler. You should apologize. I'm sorry I doubted you. Good. It's just what everyone does. Mike. Hey there, Pat. Mike, you okay? He's fine. Hey, Dad. The genie would be very nice right Usher, now. what are you doing here? We. You really stuck that landing. 
<laughs> you break out of prison and you come straight back to your hometown? We left a decoy trail of breadcrumbs obvious enough for even the stupid cops to follow. They should be halfway to Miami by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bud. We didn't come back to town for revenge on you and the Scooby gang. So what do you want? Our daughter has tryouts today. We can't miss that. Can't, can we, babe? Here's the deal. You help us lay low until tryouts this afternoon, and we'll break back into prison afterwards without incident. Right after he okay. kills it on the field. Fair enough. Kidding me right now? They just want to be there to support <laughs> their daughter. So you Fair can enough. Hold on to that little ranch if you want. I'll even give you a head start over to Stripe, and we can do this the old-fashioned way, or we can be friends. Buds. They honestly just want to be there for their you daughter. That's so, um. Robot, would you? Okay. Let's go watch some football. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? They tried to kill us. She almost killed me. If it wasn't for Courtney. Well, Barb, I just think this is the best thing for us to do right now to keep this all moving I forward. Mean, do you really believe they broke out of prison to see their kid try out for football? That's what Crown yeah. told me. I have no idea. They're crazy. What are they looking for? The shade or Calypso? It's Eclipso. Eclipso. Who's to say she's not going to be firing arrows at my head again? Okay, Barb, if they wanted us dead, we'd be dead right now. It does not make me feel better. Yeah. Is he stealing something? Another fight. <laughs> I guess you're unpopular with a lot of people. We are remodeling. How's prison? Is it uh, scary or is it uh, kind of fun like the Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> the what? Oh, it's just a movie. Cell's a little small. Jim's great. I got visitation rights with the missus. Oh, so you keep up with any of your old ISA colleagues? Any of the... Any of the gang? Who's left? That putz? The gambler? Listen, truthfully, pal, ISA, me and the wife, we never really fit in. I mean, Jordan was a good guy, a few colors short of a rainbow, but the rest of them I do not miss. So, none of the old gang, huh? Not even the Shade? The Shade? Yeah. I haven't seen that tea-sucking scum gobbler in years. He was not a team player. You know, he made fun of my cleats, but he wore these ridiculous top hats and those, what do you call them, the scarves? Ascots, they're called ascots. Ascots. <laughs> ascots. Hey, you want to know about bad, bad guys? I got to tell you what the Dragon King did to the wizard's body. Oh my God, it's going to gross you out. I like this. I always felt like we were on the road to becoming good friends, but what happened? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I kind of felt that way myself. I think the fact that you tried to kill me, that might have kind of put a damper on the friendship. But who knows? You know, relationships are funny, right? Fair point. <laughs> Can I get you something? Do you um, drink coffee? Caffeine? No, thank you. Uh, water? What kind? Tap? <laughs> I'm fine. You let your children eat processed foods? They're teenagers. If Mike wants to eat those things, he's gonna find a way to get them. You know, it's kind of like Courtney. When she makes up her mind about something, there is just no stopping her. <laughs> Artemis is like that too. Unstoppable. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> she's not gonna listen. And I like that she's driven, but as a mom, it's, it's frustrating. frustrating. <gasps> Maybe I'll try some. I ordered a strawberry one. And no whipped cream on mine. Sorry. Hey, you'll get the hang of it. I like chocolate too. And Rick can have my whipped cream. Great. Okay, let's summarize what we found out so far. I mean, to be fair, there might be someone else's drinks you guys are drinking now. So the Black Diamond is from this place called Diablo Island. Devil Island? That's not ominous. It's somewhere around here. Why isn't it on the map? Because they took it off. It's all over maps back in the 1800s. But then, around 1832, Diablo Island stopped appearing. Like, they didn't want anyone to go there. The legend goes, there were two warring tribes living on different sides of the island. One of the tribes summoned an evil entity of vengeance, trapping it in what sounds like the Black Diamond. How did the Black Diamond end up here? An explorer named Bruce Gordon rediscovered Diablo Island. But when he got there, everyone on it had been dead for decades. It's the same Bruce Gordon that wrote some of these books. He was a famous explorer in his day. So this Gordon guy found the diamond there? Doesn't say. But he was the only person who ever returned. Then what? 
I don't know. There's nothing online or off about Bruce Gordon after he came back from the island. Or the Eclipso. So what do we do next? Go get back to work. We've exhausted the library, so I'm gonna go to the used bookstore to see if I can find anything else. I'll keep trying to get Chuck back online. Maybe he can help us open the files on Eclipso. I've gotta feed the dog. Can I get a dozen cheeseburgers to go? Are you serious? Hey, we'll all meet up after Yolanda shift. Okay. So, what kind of dog did you get? A big one. This is where your parents and mine tried to save the world until the JSA killed them. Dad? He was called the Fiddler. The Fiddler? I can't play that. Well, you'll learn. <laughs> Hi. Oh, <laughs> what can I do for you, young lady? I was wondering if you had any books on this kind of famous archaeologist, or books written by him. Um, Bruce Gordon? I'm not sure I have anything, but everyone from Captain Cook to Robert Ripley be right back there to our left. Ah, oh, hello, Miss Whitmore. I know who you are. You want the Black Diamond so you can team up with Eclipso to do something bad. We're going to stop you. A supervillain team-up? By far the greatest slight is assuming I seek to conspire with Eclipse. Why wouldn't you? You're just as bad as he is. You killed Dr. Midnight. Oh my. And said with such conviction. You were there, I assume. Pat was. Oh yes, of course. Dear old Stripesy. You know, it's interesting the things he chooses to tell you and those he doesn't. You poor, deluded child. Don't you know there's a difference between bad and evil? I've been called wicked more than once. A law broken here, rule bent there, the odd life taken. But nobody that didn't deserve it. Eclipso, on the other hand, he killed McNider's daughter. She was ten years old. Wait, what? Eclipso killed Dr. McNider's daughter? Mm. Now look. A moment ago, you were so sure of everything. When I find the Black Diamond, I intend to throw it in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean, so that Eclipso may never hurt anyone ever again. Why would you do that? Oh, well, um, living as long as I have, I'm bored. <laughs> but really, leave this all to me. Hmm. We sit down, you watch, stay quiet. As a mouse. And then you go back. No funny business. Done. Your wife is lovely, by the way. I know that. Sit. You too. Hey, Danny. All right, okay, okay, okay. This is actually kind of cute. She needs to see her parents. You can do this. Dust yourself off. Artemis! Artemis! We made it! We made it! We love you! We believe in you! You got this, Artemis! Hi, honey! Big fans here. Superstar! All right, ready? We're gonna nail it! Right, 22 on one. Ready? 30 mics! 30 mics! Like a 40-yard pass. Is it tripping? She bought. <laughs> hey, 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 quiet. They're so cute. I don't know why. They're evil, but they love their fucking kids so much. They're so proud of her. Everyone else is so silent, and then there's like these two just cheering on one kid. Croc 
will be yours to use. I've got them in my sights. 10-4. Eyes on the target. Moving into position. Fox ID on the target. Roger. Waiting your orders. Take the shot when you have it. Take the shot. Take the shot. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, honey? What? Where'd they go? Well, that really got away from her, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're not innocent. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, we were going to, but... But you have your own dreams. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you're gonna be the first female quarterback in the history of college football. My girl is. <laughs> the only reason I did so well today was because you guys were here. No, the reason that you crushed it today is because of you. Oh. You've got a future now. We're not gonna let anything get in the way of that. Including us. Aww. This has to be goodbye. Oh, that's so, that's actually so wholesome. What the fuck, man? Why do I feel bad for them? I don't know. It's weird, you isn't it? They were in town. I didn't have <clears> a chance. You could have called. Did you think I was just gonna rush in and fight? I would have listened. I'm not the same star girl I was last year. I get it. Okay. Did you know that Eclipso killed Dr. McNider's daughter? How do you know that? So it's true. Why didn't you tell me, Pat? It's not an easy thing to talk about. Rebecca was 10 years old. I didn't want to scare you. I'm not scared. Is there anything else about Eclipso and the JSA? Or Bruce Gordon? What happened to him? Anything? No. Come on, I want to follow these guys back to the penitentiary. Wait, what? You're incredibly talented, but your temper we we can't have you representing our school. I'll come. Oh, that was a weird sound for a phone to make. What do you want? What happened with that recruiter? That is his loss. But I have another team you can join. One your parents were a part of. No setting tonight. We've got more important things to do. I know it's past curfew. But if Pat's not going to tell us anything else, maybe the shade will. <laughs> Hello? Is someone out there? <laughs> Chuck! Chuck! Oh, oh. <laughs> I can hear you! <laughs> I can hear you! Who are you? It's me! Your best friend, Beth Chapel. Come on, Chuck. You know me. Why do you keep calling me Chuck? That's your name. You're Dr. Charles McNiter. His AI. AI? What are you talking about? Where's Pat? What happened to the JFD to find them? I've been lost for years. My name is Dr. Charles McNiter. I've been tra trapped in the shadows. Wait. Are you the real Dr. Charles McNiter? The Shade. Hello? Oh my gosh. I think Dr. Midnight is alive. Hello? Hello, Ben. I feel like I recognize the voice. Is there? that who I think it is? Hello. Like it sounds like Like it sounds like Finch. Person of interest. Right? Does it not? Am I I need to know. I'm gonna Google this shit. Hey, what's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this very edit for example 
Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Ah, uh, star girl. It sounded like him, so I don't know. Ah, uh, this was episode four. No, I think I'm wrong. That's okay. It just sounded like him, that's all. That's quite wholesome though, like, um, with Artemis' parents, like, uh, Sports Monster and Tigress, they just like, li literally they broke out of prison just to cheer their daughter on, and they were so cute, and they came clean, like, the daughter is the most important thing, and I just think that was adorable and weird, I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.